So let's quickly add that. So I'll go back to here. Um, I'll create another component. Um, that is going to be the activities component, right? So I'll create another component. But um, JS, remember all this code we wrote it in class before. Import um, and then how we were declaring. So you can clean all those stuff, and then in the app.js itself, you can have a component. You've learned different form. Today is another form that you can actually, um, I mean, keep exporting many other components into your application. Okay. So we say import from. What are we importing? The React from React. And then once we have React imported, uh, why? Why is this thing cry? Looks like I've typed something wrong. Hey, import from import. Okay, React from React. Sorry, I think I was doing some Python. <laughs> and remember, we can define our class as usual, and then our class we can call it activities. Okay, and our activities class would extend React component to make it React component. Extend React dot components. Okay. And within here, we can have our render function. And our render function is going to have, you know, um, a return statement. Okay. And this return statement, sorry, is going to return whatever we want to return. Okay. So, first of all, let's go back to our index. Dot, I mean, this is the template that we are converting to um, React components. So, I'll go copy this guy right away from there. Okay. All right, so I'll copy all the sections and I'll come back to, you know, we are, it's already going to cry, but let's see what we'll do um, together. Um, so I'll go back to the activities inside the return. I'll just paste in the code there. And please put it in the chat. You have one minute to tell me, why do you think this is crying? Why do you think things are not like, it's saying that has no corresponding clues in that? Please go ahead and do that quickly in the chat, paste it. A very quick here yeah, just one minute. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Please post it. Oh, come on. Do we have to copy the images? Uh, please, um, who is telling me? My, my, hurry up. My is not working. My is not working. Can I? Okay, so, yes, yes, say it. Say it, All right. Please. Uh, we have to go and uh, and add the slash, the first slash to the image tab. Okay, the thank you. God bless you, bro. Um, that is actually what is causing it to not run. So that was a quick one for all of you. You know what I can do is that in Visual Studio Code, what we can do is that we can highlight image. Whenever we highlight image, every other image that is there as the same thing would also be highlighted then we can press ctrl d d d d to hide to select all of them then i will just hit on the backspace okay so oh uh, yeah i can just hit on the backspace and you see it's giving me multiple occurrence don't worry you can watch this again and listen to what i said so we will just put a forward slash over there and everything would work like it is right now okay people you see um we've just made a react component and remember how do we ha now my question is how can we uh, make i mean extend this particular uh into our app.js because if we want to call it once again we can do import what did we just build um activity say eh? sorry let's go and call it activity so in import activity from activities okay from dot slash component okay um slash i mean it's supposed to be activity okay all right so i'll save this work go back and then recreate this um rename it from activities to what activity all right so i'll save it on enter come back here and then do the same change here activity okay um uh, I would go back to my imports. Then I have imported activity. Um, the next thing I can do is to make sure that I just um, paste in my 
activity. Please, this is not going to work. I want one of you to tell me why do you think it's not going to work? Hurry up. You have 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Who is going to save the day? Is how are there? Mm -hmm. Who is going to save the day? Why is, I mean, we've created a component, we've exported it, but it's still not showing. Why do you think it's not showing? We have navbar, we have open, we have product, we have activity, we've imported activity. Let's go back to activity. Look at what we've done here, but still it's not working. Who can tell me why it's not working? Mm? No one. No one. No one. No one. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Um, yeah, we are. It's fully around trying to see the day. Oh, what? Yes, yes. <laughs> Students are just funny. Um, yeah, so fully around, are you saving the day for us or not? Okay, so um, I think, don't worry, let me just, to save time. Um, when you watch it, you understand. So once again, we did not export this particular file. So export default needs to be there. Okay. If you go here, you can see that when you preview, they tell you that it does not contain default exports. So make sure you always have that. Uh, um, and also read the messages to it yourself. Let's come back here. Now we have the other um, style not working. So you know, let me just um, add it here and ask um how to show um or how to write style i mean style in react component apparently we are going to get maybe stack overflow first someone might have fallen into this trap already oh no it means we didn't search well because if we said very well um how to write style Attribute. I think we just say attribute in React components. Oh, once again, I don't think we did it well. Because if we did it very well, how to use style in React inline? Okay, yeah, I think this is fine. Um, so you see, you are not far from people that want to help you. So make sure you always. So, however, we have to use it a little bit different in React instead of passing string with all the styles to the attributes, we need to assign an object. So see, it is said that we need to assign it into an object. So just this color that we were saying, instead of writing it this way, we could write it this way in React. Okay, let's go and try that out. I think what they are saying is that all these ones, okay, um, let's look at it. Into an object, and then this will be we have color, and this is into the color, right? Style equals to please let's let's try uh, get it right because once we are able to solve this, it means that our code would always not have issues with us. So, what are they saying that background unexpected to um, comma? I think what it doesn't also want is these things, okay. So I do not know background, you know, background, we can say background without saying background color. So let's do it that way. So it solves that problem. And here, let's cut this out once the game. And then let's put it inside forever. Um, so we put this here and there to save our work. That saves it. We come back here from width. And then I cut this once again, cut this there, paste it. You see, we've just lent it together like that. Okay, so when I will not fall into that trap again um, of not being able to figure out, I mean, you don't need to, because I was just wondering, would we have to keep, you know, defining all the classes? Like, I mean, style, 
style classes for each and everything that we want? No, there are simple stuff that we just need to make them in line. So um, apparently that is why I had to let us search and find a reason to go by it. OK, so at this point, I think everything is fine. When we go back to our page, thank you guys for helping us. And remember, mostly become the guy that um, when you go to a site and then comment, give a minute answer. I think it's nice to learn. I like everything that you've done here. So please, I mean, I'll keep it as my favorite to always come back and check. Uh, working, you have your activities. You see how we converted everything into React components. But we are going to do a bit of exercise. Notice that we are repeating ourselves everywhere here. Okay. And the reason for having React, <laughs> I mean, to work on this is that we can optimize this code. If it's the same thing, okay, let's define. Um, you remember that every React class or component can have a constructor. We did this in class, right? Okay, so the constructor will receive props. So the properties that you might want to pass, let's say background and call, you want to pass them, okay, you can pass them. And we have to have a function called, we have to have a function called super, which will accept the props. You remember we did this in class, right? And then we can now have um, this dot state, okay, to hold all the props that we want. So we can begin with, um, I do not know, maybe a props like this. It depends whatever you want to do, okay? So this props is going to have, we have an image, okay? For every one of this, for every one of this, let's look at the similarities they have. It has an image, right? It has, uh, I mean, the image might differ for every one of them. And it has a title which would differ and then also uh, contents, right? So you know what? We can just simply create um, something like uh, maybe details, okay? Activity details, or we can call it details. It depends. Then this details is going to contain. Um, do you have a question? Amen. Any question? Please mute it yourself, eh? Come on. No question. No question. Let me mute you. Okay. So if you have a question, please just mute your unmute yourself and ask. Okay, don't worry. I thought maybe it's a mistake, but if it's not a mistake, unmute yourself. Okay. Okay, so see, we have details, right? And we are going to define details as an array. Okay. An array. Mm -hmm. An array. That, yes. Um What's your question, please? Hurry up. We are running behind schedule. Hurry up, Martha. Oh, Martha, no question, no problem. Let me mute you again. And you muted me. How long did you meet me? Okay, no problem, no issue. Um, let me just continue. Please don't um, unmute yourself again. All right, so you see we have details, which is an array. I'm going to define what do we want inside this particular for each of the objects. So see, I'm going to have um, uh, an image, okay, for this object. So this image is going to be called, um, I'll post the image there, all right? And then secondly, each of the components also have like a title. So I'm going to create a title and paste it over there. So I'm going to call it like title. And I'll say that this title, I mean, is going to be, sorry, it's going to be um, podcast. Okay. 
you see the way I'm breaking it into pieces. I want to just loop over it because I see it's just one. Or they are all doing the same thing. They are all cards. They have four columns. They have so much similarities. So I'll cut this, come here, and then I'll say um, comma. What do we want to do um, for this one? How do we call it? Description, eh? Description. Okay. Column, and I'll paste it in there. Please just study the syntax. That is how it works, okay? Um, so assuming that we have this, okay? So we are going to have, how many columns do we have? One, I mean, we have one, two, three columns, okay? So which means we are going to do the same thing for each and every one of them. Let me do for one and I'll repeat the other, okay? So notice this can come down. And after the first one that you define, okay, let me bring it down as well. After the, in details, we are having all the classes to have details, okay? So we will have an IMG colon, and then we will have a comma. We will have a title colon. We have a comma. We have a description, right? And we have a colon, and then we have, um, uh, sorry, I mean, semi, uh, speak max. Okay, so now let's go and describe the second one. So the first one was the podcast. The second one is going to be this one. This image is also to the together image, but the title is going to be called sessions. So let's go and do that. So image would be this. Um, title is going to be sessions. Please do not, I know it might be, I mean, we've done this before, but doing it again after some time might be something that you can consume easily. So please just take your time. Um, you can play over the video and watch it again. But if you have a question, you can ask me. Okay, feel free to do that. Uh, um, so I'm going to copy this um, description and I'm going to paste it in here as the description. Okay, so as of now, I will just repeat this one. I'll repeat it and I'll change the title um, to something else because I've already shown you how you can do that. Remember, you need to put a comma inside the array to define the objects within, you know, arrays. So the last one is actually newsletter. And this is the test that we are going to use for it. So I'll go back to the top and say that I want the title to be newsletter. Newsletter. Okay. Then I want the description to be this our bi weekly newsletter from blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, how is this going to help us? Okay. So we learn props in class, we learn states, okay? So look at what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this once, all of this. I'm going to cut it off because I want to reuse what I've built, okay? I want to just reuse it. And what I'm going to do is that you remember that we can access a state with this. We can see that, let me come here. We can see that this dot state, right? And this would help us to access the states, the state property, which is here, right? So we can see this dot state, what is happening? And assuming that the details is what we want, we will say details, okay? And we want to map over each and every one of these guys, okay? So I would say, you remember, this is a constructor, this is a props, this is a state, a state contains the details. So now if you want to access the state, you will say this the state details, we want to map over it. So the, each for each details, we are going to call it a detail. And we will basically return like a, a function, okay? An arrow, I mean a function that, let's see, saying, do you mean, no, I don't mean that, I mean this. Okay, we are just going to have a function and this function is going to return one of these guys. This this part would be confusing. Please, if you don't want to do it this way, I mean, just do it your way and go your way, okay? I would always default to something like this, okay? So I'll call the, I mean, this detail inside here. I don't think, I think I'm writing a valid syntax. I don't know why it's highlighted it, okay? 
but for now, let me go check why is this date not working for me? Because it looks like something is wrong. See if this work. Um, go back to my browser. I can see that it has already reloaded. Let me as well do one more thing. Just wait. I think something is wrong somewhere. Oh, I when I was cutting it, I didn't cut everything. Oh, okay. I left this thing out. How did we get here? What is that? Like, what was that? Oh, okay. Sorry, once again. Um, I mean, I need to cut things like this. Hmm. Okay, save my work. Come back to my browser. You see, everything is working, but I want to access the states. Let's go here and check on um, React documentation, how I'm accessing the states. I believe I'm doing it the right way, but just for confirmation, so let's go do something. Say I want to look over the states. I want to access the states. Yeah, it's, I mean, they have set states, but that's not what I want to do. You remember I did this with you in class, right? Uh, we did something similar. I'm sorry for keeping this lengthy, but we definitely need to finish it up today. Um, so I have states. Hmm. Why can I say this? State dot. No, oh, nothing is working. Why? What is wrong? Um, what is wrong with my code? Looks like something is wrong. Let me see if this works. Go back to the browser. See it crying. What is this? You know, like it just has the details displayed on the site, which means we are doing something wrong. Hmm. So I, I think, hmm. Eventually, we may need to search on this very quickly to see what we are missing. Okay, but. Uh, I'm running out of time and I will simply comment this out for now. OK, um, see if this work. Um, if you go back to your codes that we did, you should be able to, I mean, fix this thing. It's just we did this together in the class. Um, how you can look over the list items. You remember we did something like that together. So please go back and check your code. For now, I'll leave it to be this and I'll save my work. Uh, I don't have much time. I was supposed to be in a meeting right now. I think they might have been closed. And also one more thing I'm going to do is to um, let's add the footer. OK, let's just add the footer um, into our components and just go away. So we have our activity components. Now we have our I mean, so let's go and add the footer. Please, if you want to make a footer a component you know what to do right go make it a component i mean just go make it i'll copy this and i'll paste that particular um, inside my app.js i'm not going to make that a component it's not everything that you make you have to make components i mean you can still write it like this and remember we learned that instead of this you can write this okay and then you would have something basically like so, and this will clear up everything from A to Z. Okay, then you need to make sure that all these are in like single st strings. Okay. Um, let's see, I think we are going to have another problem. Okay. Okay. Now, the problem is that um, it is saying unexpected to thing, right? This is not supposed to be allowed. Let's pass all of them as you know, comments. I think it will eventually translate to what we want. Please remember, do this. All these are supposed to be called class name and not class. OK, so I'll highlight all the classes here. All right, now I'll explain to you why I said they should be class name. So class name. All right, so the point is that your React component, right? It's called class. This is like you you create a class. So how can you call class and then you also have like different classes over there? So please avoid, I mean, 
in React, all the classes, I mean your CSS classes, call them, um, call them, uh, what's their names? So, oh, um, please call them class names, okay? That is like React syntax, that's what it says, that we should call them class names. Okay, so you see, I told you how I was highlighting all of them at once. Uh -huh. So please make sure you correct everything, all the class names, apart from this being called class, no other thing should be called class. Okay, let me save this work. Come back here, see, see whether maybe that might even be the issue, why we our thing was not running or not in the first place. Okay, it's still not. No problem, let me comment this out again. We might be missing something, that's why it's not working. Um, once again, I'll just come back to here. I think all of this have class names. Let's check through all our components to see if everything is working. Let's save our work. Let's come back to our page and then let's see whether Futa is there. Yes, Futa is also loading. All right. Um, apart from Futa, I think our activities, we need to um, clear them up. OK, that is currently missing, so we need to um, this is not in line, so we need to clean it up. Let's go check what we were supposed to do with the activity. I think that will be the last fixes that we are making. Okay, so this column is supposed to be inside, I mean, a uh, section or something, which I believe it is. Um, a, and then a container, which it is. And then a column, a row, which it is. And column of 12 margin uh, bottom of five okay let's see then we have a diff okay i think it's aligned perfectly i just don't know why it is shifting to the other side but you can please check it up this specific lesson was i was supposed to teach you how you can create react components um with whatever we've learned so far whatever we learn we learned how to create a react component we did all this stuff together except that we didn't separate it into another folder and import them like we are doing today. Okay, so um, the last thing I would do if I check in my index dot um, page is that we need to clear this up. This script, we need to remove. You see, this script is not included yet. This script is responsible for you know the drop down that we would have gotten. You see, this is this drop down is not working. So let's go and add this script to our page. Where do you think we should add it? in the index.html. Let's just go and hide, add it to the down part. Add that script mostly comes here, right? Let's go back, refresh our page, minimize it, click here. All right, everything is working and we have React components working on our project. We click on developer tools, we come to components and you can see we have open component, open message component, product, activity, the footer was not made a component, so you can't see it here. A component can contain another component within it. You just need to, you know, import it into that particular component and reuse it. OK, um, that is what I actually wanted us to do. However, uh, um, props did not allow me to quickly get that. Straight. Um, so here is your little homework, please. You all know how to use. Um, you've not done any pull request, and pull, I mean, you've not contributed to any open source before. I'm going to push this, push this to GitHub so that you can clone this project and fix this thing. Um, and whoever fixes it, um, you would have to push it to Git for it to work. So this would bring to an end our class today. Uh, do not worry. Please go over it, watch it. Um, how many times you need to watch it, just watch it and you will get everything up and running. So very quickly, let's do this. You know what I like to do, right? Let's come here and create a new repository and we call this repo. Um, we're just going to call it um, React App. OK, um, I, I won't call it just React App. It's called uh, MS clone, right? MS clone React app. Okay, this is a fair name. Um, I'll leave it this way and I'll click on create repository. Okay, if I have a description, I'll put a description there. Okay, let me just put this as for learning purpose. Okay, 
I'll click on create repository to create this repository and I will then have to just copy it. You know how I do it, okay? Copy this, come back to here, um, pull up the terminal, inbuilt terminal in Visual Studio Code and I would simply say that I want to clear this, do all the get add. So I'll say get add, get commit. They added, I mean, um, first commit or initial commit. Okay, and then I'll do get, I mean, we've done the get add, right? So now let's clear this and paste in whatever we copied from GitHub to connect to our GitHub um, repository that we created and then git push to origin. Okay, just going to take some few seconds and it should be to you here you will see it here once it's done okay um one thing i want to teach you to do is how to post a react application all right so there's uh a platform called vessel.com all right i'll just refresh here to see whether my push okay you see now it's here all the update that we made so in here i'm going to create a new import a project I'm going to import a project, okay? I'm going to import a project. It's just vessel.com. Go there and import a project. Let me go do that. I'll say import project from import get repository. And what is the name of the repository, okay? I'm just going to come here and I'll copy this repository and I'll paste the link over there here. It says what? Import a get repository. Then I'll click on continue. That's all. It says couldn't find the Git repository. If as it's verified that GitHub integration is permitted, access in it's in the GitHub settings. Oops, what's happening? Jeez, this would have been lovely. I mean, it would have been a nice way to end this class today for you. Um, hosting a React application. Let's try it out again. Okay. Or maybe I can only host one project for free. Uh, per time. Maybe, maybe I can only host one project per time. Let me try again. Let's see the pricing. What are they saying? Starts free, then grow with, um, so no credit card. Get started for free. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uninstall one app that I installed before. I'm just going to uninstall that app. It's private. Okay. Let's see. How do I? I've never uninstalled an app before, but I want to do it so that we can get to push this one to um, Vessel. How do I simply delete this thing? I just want to delete it. That's all. I don't need anything. Okay. Looks like, okay, there's a delete here. I will just delete. Yes, delete this guy. Okay. All right, so I have deleted it. Um, let me just reload my Vessel account. And let me just, um, what did they say? Make your first or remove this project. So remove this project. Dismiss. What are they saying? Delete, yeah. There's this no production deployments. Click on here, confirm that I want to delete React this. Let's delete it. Okay, now what I just want to do is to try to integrate, like, I mean, my project here again. Import project. Let's try GitHub again. Let's paste in the repo. The repo, is that the right name? Let's click on continue. Ew, no, it's not working. You know what? Uh, let's look at what is the, they said, my organization slash my projects. No, I think I think I'm doing something wrong. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Jeez. Okay, so it's very easy. It's like super easy. So I just want to show you how you can also do it. That's all I want to do so that we'll close this episode. All right. So sorry for keeping this lengthy. Wish this would go through. Let's go here again and see 
how we can copy this again. Um, how about we do this? Okay. Um, yeah. Paste this guy here. Click on continue. GitHub upset. Let me let me just do this. OK, um, let's see whether Vessel would allow me to make the posting and everything. He says Vessel gets up autom automatically deploys your PRs to Vessel review PR what 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 I think. I uh, only selected repositories. Yes. Um, they want me to add the, the kind of repository. I think they will just ask you to grant all these permissions. Only select the repositories. What repository do I want? It's not a React test. Let's add another repository. So what repo did we just add? Let's scroll down. I think it will be here. What name did we call it? Can any of you remind me? MS clone React app. OK, I think that is it. Let's click on save. Hmm. Let's hope that it deploys it. Okay. That it just deploys it for us. Okay. Continue. Okay. Looks like it's working. So everything is set. This is the project. This is the React app. Sorry, it took some time. Okay. Um, when you watch it, you understand. So let's reach. Is that? Um, is someone talking? Doesn't look like I can't hear you. Can you put it in the chat? Okay, so MS clone NIL. That's how I just call this project. And everything else, I just click on deploy. Hmm, it says what? This name of project can only contain up to 100 numeric lower cases. So what they are saying is that you can also name your project with um, capital letter, MS clone React. That's what they are saying, that if you want, you can separate it with, uh, um, I mean, a comma. Let's click on deploy. Okay, this is going to take some few seconds, and our React app will be live, and you can all go and check it out. Okay, so yes, in seconds, React application. Is done. So the app that you are deploying, okay, this is how you can build it. But remember, whenever you are actually going to host it, it's good you magnify it, okay? You compress it into a small project so that it is visible enough and very fast. So that they do, you do something called um, NPM run build, okay, um, to build this particular project. I think that's how that's that for you. Okay, congratulations. Your app has been successfully deployed. Hey, our project is live. I'll check it up. I'll give you a link. So we just deployed an application. Um, you can all check it up. In here, paste it there. Okay, so now you've learned how to deploy an app on Microsoft Azure. You've also learned how to deploy an app on Vessel.